Okay. Do you have any pain right there? Nope. Okay. So I, I was using the other side of the camera, but um, the so I could see what I was doing, mm -hmm. but the the image wasn't as good. Yeah, think, the front camera is always weird. I think the front camera is just never as good. Are you feeling anything? Nope. That one's really in there. Both of these are really in there. Nail. I can see why that's been bothering you for mm -hmm. That's all the nail that was in there. Oh. What branch of the military is in? Marines. Marines. Yeah, he, he could do this without even any anesthetic. Yeah, he got his wisdom teeth out with no, just Novocaine. Yeah. With no Novocaine? With just Novocaine. <laughs> well, I could do any of this. This has just Novocaine too, but if he was a real Marine, he's, he's watching this, right? If he, oh, was yeah. a, if he was a real Marine, he would do no Novocaine, just, just. <clears throat> oh, no. Gosh, look at how deep that was in there. It was really... Okay. I guess we'll do one and then the other. Sure. Now, is that why like, the whole nail itself was in three? Yeah, yeah, um, because it was really dug in there. And this is that medicine I was telling you about okay. that I put into the edge. This kind of reminds me of the running of the bulls where they have the toros, you know, mm -hmm. and they put these little sticks in them.
funniest thing is my um, now my kids whenever I get home now they ask me, okay, Daddy, what videos did you do today? <laughs> they want to watch my videos. They like gross videos. They're, they're a little too young for them. I think I should put an age limit on these. <laughs> but what they really like is I draw usually draw pictures. Mm -hmm. I'll show you here in a sec. Well, you're a good reader here. Okay, so let's uh. So you're bleeding nicely, um, just so you know, in case it bleeds through a little bit, take it easy tonight. All right. Was it focused on the right spot? Mm -hmm. That's what Sometimes you lose the focus. No, it looked good. anything? Just a little bit, not much though. These look painful, these nails. What have you tried? You just tried trimming them out yourself? Yeah. I don't even know how you get that deep. Oh, I didn't care. I would make myself bleed. I would Did go you? through the pain. It was so awful. in a while but normally it'd be like every month or so yeah yeah but when I, I just got back from seeing him out in San Diego mm -hmm. so I didn't touch him I think now for a month yeah and it just got to the point and then my co-worker stepped on that one last Thursday and I'm like he doesn't speak any English so I told him he broke my toe <laughs> but yeah it just I couldn't mm. do it anymore <laughs> yeah Skin that's still in there though. Now I find sometimes with uh, females, mm -hmm. I take a little bit of nail out. I, I don't want to take too much, mm -hmm. and and it might swell up and okay. hit. And sometimes it, people even get like an ingrown toenail after because of the swelling. But that swelling comes down afterwards. Okay. okay. Now, why would my like especially just one? 
it's changed like the thickness of it the color you know sometimes we get concerned about the fungus in there mm -hmm. Uh, but a lot of times what happens is when the nail grows, it, it curves mm -hmm. and then it hits the top of your shoe and that friction on the top of the shoe hitting causes thickening of the nail. Okay. And that sometimes can make it more prone to getting a fungal infection. If we're still concerned, we can take a nail sample uh, another time. Yeah, they can. It usually fits in unless they're too small. Okay, all set.